Okay, I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? I'm ready for whatever might happen. Took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Auto over-engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Full Bear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the beanbags, remember? Lucy. Everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you the high-flying, death-defying, ironically named, Aquato Family Circus, Augustus, Donatella, Dion, Frazy, Rasputin, Murtala, and little baby Creepy. And the most important member of the family, one who's been here the whole time. Luna Aquatic.
Quato, right where she belongs, in the heart of her family. What is this? It's a mental construct I made for Lucy, to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Did you step in? I don't know. It looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Has anyone seen my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. To the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father daughter team of Frazy and Augustus Aquato. One will live, one will die. Maybe. Who knows? Only one way to find out. Can Donatella balance her duties as a mother with the demands of the circus? Join her at the Razorback Arena and witness this incredible balance in than a parent is when it happens without an audience. Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing! <laughs> Step right up to the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father-daughter team of Frazy and Augustus Aquato. One will live, one will die. Maybe. Who knows? Only one way to find out. Yep. <laughs> round and round the wheel goes. Will Crazy kill her papa? No one knows. Be a big girl to throw knives at dad. I just, I just don't feel good about it after last time. Anyone can make a mistake, Crazy. But Papa, your leg! Come on now, the plans are waiting. Thank you, Lee's good job. Keep going. Pretty good, pretty good. That's the ticket, my boy. You did it, my 
boy. You're my favorite son now. Wait, what was that? Wow, Flea Dad tells it like it is. Okay, my turn to throw knives at Dad. Not the most functional family. <laughs> but at least they're all alive. Okay, all the children are safe. No, I will show you my little secret. Come with me to the high dive. I dive in the Aquato family circus for years. You know, the curse. You know, the more I think about that curse, <laughs> the more I think it's a lot of gravolknock. No, get up there. Circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley, stinky dam is over this way. What? Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Yep. Here's the steamer trunk tag. What's this? 
It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolathe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never used the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you. Hey, Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs>
were the one who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a psychonaut? Well, it is either you or Frazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic nonfiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy, just sewing dance and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. I forgot how much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula, Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. Clairvoyance on this bad mood, but it looks immune to it. I don't think I'm hurting it at all. Oh, it's immune to clairvoyance right now. that locket and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. Yeah, I think I hear some emotional baggage now. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> this hat box needs a hat box tag. <laughs> I think I hear some. Phew! Phew! I think I hear some emotional baggage now. Ah. I think I hear some. Mara, 
well now. Uh, but, but. Uh... Help me focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! Mistake. I think we made many mistakes. But now, we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now, I'm only one of those things. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry, Ford. I'll be right here beside you! Himmel. Jackpot. Bullseye. I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. <clears throat> Agents? We have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that her? I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend, Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. My God. Oh, yeah. Funny story. That's not really Nick from the mailroom. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. Lily! Raz! Listen, I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the grand head. You're right. We do. Wait. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? Dad. What the heck? Right. Let, let's
Let's split up and compare notes in a bit. What the? Don't get it. <laughs> 